yeah. shooting. But I remember watching your video going this straight away, going this is definitely pre-COVID. I didn't know when it was from, but I just got definitely because they, they're like you were both next to each other, shaking yeah, hands. Yeah. You you were cooking, and she was sat right next to you, looking at her. I was thinking, if that was now, you'd be like, excuse me, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> distance, distancing. Yeah. No, it was um, yeah. When was that? That was probably two or three years ago now. I think. Yeah, it seems it's hard to think back, isn't it? Because I mean, last year just seemed like a riot off, didn't it? I mean, you, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. No, in 2019, you're like that was a couple of months ago, wasn't it? Yeah, but. No, it's it was... funny, like even with the football, they still named it Euro 2020, know, even though it's 2021. It's because they, well, they, they don't want to disrupt the record books. Maybe so. <laughs> maybe that's good to get all the branding done. They don't want to pay to change it. That's all, maybe, true. That's know. true. Get, yeah. all the, get all the strips changed. All sorts. <laughs> that's from very why memorabilia. But that was a good uh, feature that they did, on you? Yeah? yeah, that was a great little one. Yeah, local. That's one of the first ones I got. So how do you think they came up? How did you come to their attention? Just because you social media. Pretty much, yeah. I and mean, basically, it was um, a friend of mine, James, James Forrest, who lives in Cockermouth now, and he's, he's he's quite a famous name in the world of hiking. He's um, a journalist by trade, and he actually, um, after sort of meeting me through this hiking world, through Instagram, I met a lot of the people I hang around with now through the through the app and through social media. And he did a little piece on me um, for a magazine about my story, which was all online. Mm. And I just shared that again on my personal Facebook at the time, and um, I actually had a chap I used to serve in the pub back in Brampton in the Howard Arms that was a reporter for ITV that saw the article and he went, oh, this is great. This would make a great bit of coverage. I'd love to speak to you more about it. And it went from there. So, again, it's all been people that I'd still I'd met in the past life had just all come more to fruition. It's been a really, really natural journey. I've just allowed it to sort of – I've never aimed to get anything. It's all been quite organic. I've never yeah, pushed yeah. going. Like That's the best thing about it. Thing. It's just sort of started to snowball this way. And that was the very, very start where I just sort of shared it the first time I put my actual journey on that app for the first time, I, so I shared a lot of the cooking, the, the hills, mm. but I did share two years in, two years sober, I put the whole thing on there. And now I was sharing to, to strangers, really. I, yeah. I was no longer sharing to friends and family. I'd put it out there into the world. But obviously and, um, that's a sign that you got to a point where you felt comfortable that you could do that. Absolutely, bud. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, and again, <laughs> to, to imagine me doing that a few years back, yeah. you know, honestly, I, I, I wouldn't have spoken to my best mate about it. So the if just you could have shown yourself there. two year, a few years before, yeah. you'd have been in the pub going, that looks a bit like me. Oh. <laughs> Unrecognisable. I think I was too insecure to post a selfie back then, let alone, well, yeah. let alone say yeah. anything else. You know, It was just completely... But it is something to be proud of. Thank you, bud. Mm. Thank you. I mean, it's, it's, it's a different life looking back, it really is, and it's something that you know, I, I'm, I'm pleased to be in a position where I am now in terms of looking back. The way you've sort of say. explained it makes it so it seems so matter of fact, but to actually do make the choices and actually... Fo- well, it's the following through with them, that's the tough bit, and you've... You've done it. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, it's... <laughs> That's what I was thinking about, yeah, looking at, if you're reading your journal, must that would bring a lot of it home, because how, how honest were you being in these journals? Well, I think it's all probably too honest. I think in well, there, that, no, so. that's that makes that's that's the best thing because that when you go back, you realise what you were going through and how much of a shift it was. Yeah. Rather than just saying it to read it on the page, you know, because obviously it just flows out of you when you, I imagine, when you're in a situation like that, yeah. you just. <laughs> well, I like to think I'm. I mean, something that people have often said to me now is, I, I, again, in this sort of world, I guess of um, quite fake social media and stuff, people put things on for certain reasons. A lot of people have often said, you know, I'm, I'm quite honest, genuine, and authentic on my account sort of way. And that's something I'd like to, main, way to be. Something I'd like to maintain. Um, but even though I, I would consider myself very open, very honest in terms of the stuff I put yeah. on there, especially about my personal journey, I reckon those journals are even more honest. Yeah, but that's where, that's where the best-selling <laughs> book comes into well, it, you see? So. Maybe there's still some reveal bits, but then... But because um, I've had people on here, like, or friends and family, or, or, and messages from people I don't know saying, like, why, it seems like you don't edit the podcast. You've left this in. You've left that in. It's like, well, that's what that's probably the appeal of the podcast is. Yeah, we don't yeah. edit. We don't. If someone really wants something cut out, we will. It's happened like once or twice in five years. But generally, we, that's just people look at people can look up the back catalogue and see what it's about, so they know what to expect. So that's grand, isn't it? So, well, well, from sitting here, if anyone is listening, it does. It is, this is a very natural flowing conversation. To be fair, so nice if way. it comes across that way on the podcast, then that's and I was uh, saying that genuine. Just get people on. Just let them talk. Because a lot, of, like even when you did the news thing, it's very brief, isn't it? Mm. It's very you got your point across, but there was so much more to say. But you just yeah. don't, you don't have the time. It was the cooking on those wings too. I was looking. I was, imagine, I was thinking, that, I was thinking that. I was thinking because the, the the end scene is like you and her just looking at a pa- eating your food after yeah, you thinking yeah. how long did they have to wait? Just so, this is a bit awkward. <laughs> no, they didn't give me long at all. I mean, I mean, that one wasn't too bad. But the, the BBC one I did, but they were quite pressured. They were the hey, cook something now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like ready, steady, cook. Here's <laughs> yeah. the Harriet going. Right, what are you doing here? Come on. 
Time oh. of the essence. 30 Look. seconds, guys. Love Ainsley. <laughs> what, a, what a hero. Love Ainsley. <laughs> but it was, yeah, they gave me 20 minutes. And I thought, well, that's not a lot of time in, in a kitchen at home, let alone sort no. of on a stove. If you in want the quality, side, so. it takes time. Yeah. It's like so a Jamie Oliver book. <laughs> this, yeah. di- this dish only Five takes 20 minutes. minutes. Yeah. First, you need a cooked chicken. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> What's usually more of an 80 pound slice of fillet of beef? Like, oh, okay. <laughs> It's um, yeah, so it was, especially again, I mean, in the outdoors, you've got the elements at play too. So you might have sort of the wind um, coming in, you might have a bit of rain yeah, sort of true. thing. If you've got sort of the gas and how, how they act, so your heat transfer isn't isn't obviously quite as efficient as at home. So no. so that whole thing. So some of these more slow cooked dishes, especially anything carb based, and you know, pastas, mm-hmm. rices that take a bit of time anyway. Yeah, and you've only got one single burner as well. So if you've got anything that needs two pans, then twenty minutes it's quite That's it's true, quite an yeah. ask all of a sudden already. So. Especially if you want to do something that actually looks nice on the, yeah, on, on the video, that, yeah. video piece. <laughs> yeah. the final shot. Then you need like a hot plate to keep things <laughs> Yeah, well, They weigh a ton. Well, this is the other thing, I suppose, if you ended up doing it for sort of cooking for people in the hills of the time. I mean, it's, it's not going to be as hot as the you, restaurants. You'd you have to have a team. That, you'd have to have other people to carry imagine, other stuff. To, yeah. Anyway, but so. people would still pay for that. <laughs> people would pay for that. If they could pay, part of the expedition was someone to come along with them, cook them a meal at the top. They wouldn't care how you did it. Just make it amazing. Maybe if it was a multi day thing, maybe. Me, me, <laughs> me and a team of Sherpas. But well, yeah, we'll see. But it's but yeah, it's about 20 minutes they gave me at the time. So I thought, well, I'm just going to stick to something like a steak for that. I think I can do a steak quite It looked good. That things, looked good. It, it, it was, it was tasty. I was yeah, watching but... that at the wrong time. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. But um, yeah, so that was a bit of a high pressure moment, I guess. And yeah. Then you are I thought. There. But um, yeah. <laughs> 